Welcome to Zeal's Made Easy. I'm Paula Marie in Kansas City. If you are a beginner, you may find it easier to learn on a smaller set of Zills. So I am using the student size today. Now generally speaking, there are four beats per measure in belly dance music. Since I am right-handed, I am going to give my left hand the easier job of only playing those four main beats, such as one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That is all the left hand is going to do over and over. Now, halfway in between those main counts of music is a half beat denoted in English by the word and. I am going to play the ands with my right hand. So now we have one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. I call that playing in half beats. Now that is not the primary belly dance rhythm. The primary rhythm also includes a quarter beat. Halfway between the half beat and the next main beat is a quarter beat denoted in English by the word a. Uh. So now we have and a, uh, and a. Uh. Adding the right hand to the left hand, we would have one and a two and a three and a four in slow motion. One and a two and a three and a four. Up to speed, that would sound like this. Now, if you have any trouble keeping that primary rhythm going, there is a third option. It's playing in a mixture of half beats and the primary rhythm. An example of that would be to just play an and every other time. This example would sound like this. One and a two and. Three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and one and a two and three and a four and up to speed. Now to demonstrate all of this, I'm going to use Tim Stark's new CD, Belly Dance Music Made in the USA. The first selection is called the Three Minute Routine. That's the one we'll use. It starts with a slow, pretty intro. By the way, this is available on iTunes and Amazon, so if you like the music, I will put a link for both of those below. We don't normally play uh, the zills during the slow music. However, when the fast music kicks in, it will start in half beats, so I will do the same. And then it eases on into the primary rhythm. But even after that, there will be places here and there where half beats, half beats are accented. I will play those like this. So watch for that. Okay, here we go. You to start over here. primary rhythm going pretty well there. However, we are going to come up on some of those places that accent the half beat. So you watch for that. slow section here and as I said earlier we don't normally play the zills during the slow music. However this will be followed by a drum section that starts out with a mixture of the primary rhythm and full beats. It goes like this. One and a two and a three four. One and a two and a three four. And I will do the same with my zills. After that and the 
fast music at the end, you, we will find some more places where we have a mixture of the primary rhythm and half beats in this manner. So the key is, whatever the music's doing, do your best to match your zills to the music. Now, I think this is a pretty good song to practice to. The three minute routine has all the tempos necessary for a complete routine and one three minute song. Uh, now, if you would like more detailed instruction, I also have a longer version of this same lesson posted on YouTube, so you might look for that. In my next video, I will show you how to put the zills together with the dance. So until then, have fun with your zills.